Listen, I want to tell you this, all right? Stay tuned to the end of this video, man, because I'm about to tell you something. People ain't going to tell you this. They, they never going to disclose this with you because they, most people is in, they, in their pride. But I'm going to let it rip. I'm going to tell you just like it is. I'm going to tell you what they're thinking, and I'm going to tell you what they're doing to you behind closed doors, how they feel about you, and what's really happening. It's your big brother, Trend, man. Make sure you subscribe to my channel right after this video. See, listen, most people, man, I'm going to tell you, most people is going to suffer for doing you wrong. Okay, I'm going to tell you that most people that you come across, they will be punished for not giving you the opportunity that God aligned you guys up for. All right. I'm telling you, listen, you know why I say that? Because if you really feel like you are, you are a child of the most high God or you are a child of the universe, the source, infinite intelligence, your high, whatever you call it. OK, if you know that is you. That means that every time you come across somebody, you mean well, right? You mean well. You just want to help humanity. You just want to show them your gift and, 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 and try to elevate them. You just try to inspire them. Well, listen, I'm going to tell you this. Most people that you come across on your path who notice that greatness inside of you, they know who they are, all right? If they do you wrong, if they deny you three times, if they betray you, if they rat on you because you did something good, okay? If anybody does you wrong that come across your path, folks, they will go through suffering. They will go through suffering and they will continuously go through suffering until they acknowledge that you are the chosen one. I keep saying this and I'm going to keep saying it because I've talked to many people who I've seen going, who I see going through it and I know it for myself. People will continue to suffer until they acknowledge you and give you your credit. Until they give you your recognition, they will continue to be punished by this force that is inside of you. Okay? It's not out here like everybody thinks. The force is with you. Why do you think they say that in Star Wars? The force is with you. It's within you. Everybody don't got that force. That's why they can't move mountains. That's why a lot of people complain about shit that's going on. And they're like, hey, you know, they, they, they ain't doing me right. And they treat me now. And I don't got this much money. And yet, that's why they can't move mountains. Because they don't got no faith. They don't, they lack faith. Okay. And so if you coming around him and you hanging around his new friend, or you tell him about your dream and how you're going to do be do music and all this. You tell him how you a fashion designer or you might talk about how you invest in crypto and you trying to do real estate and all this. You start telling people that type of stuff in the back of their mind. They start to become jealous. Okay. They start to feel some kind of way because they want to be the top dog. They want to be the ones that inspires you. You know what I mean? They want to have the vision. But see, most of the time, the people that the universe bring you around, they're going to be people full of pride, full of envy, full of jealousy, full of hate, full of spite. That's why you always come around a lot of people that don't like you. That's why you always, you know, intercourse, like, I'm about to say intercourse, but that too, <laughs> that too. That's why you always get those people that are attracted to you because they can smell the fragrance of success coming off of you. But see, when they get around you, they can't stand it. They can't withstand it because they have too much pride. They have too much pride. They got too much ego. Fellas, that's why if you holler at a certain chick and she, she giving you some play, she talking to you, but all of a sudden she go MIA or all of a sudden she start acting crazy like some weird shit just start happening. Bro, you ain't doing nothing wrong. It's because she's smelling that scent of success and that's what she's always wanted. You know what I mean? Who knows what she's doing for some piece of, a piece of change, probably some strange things. But she see you over here, you know what I mean? You actually working for yours. You grinding every day, day in, day out. You still working your nine to five until you actually start working in your passion job. You really doing the right thing. But you're going to run into a lot of people who want what you have. And once they know what you're trying to do and what you, where you're trying to go, they will wrong you in any kind of way. It might be, they might steal from you. They might try to steal your, uh, they might try to steal your girlfriend from you, your boyfriend. They'll try to steal that. You know what I mean? They'll, they'll try to scam you or something. They'll scam you or they'll try to, they'll try to uh, sue you. They'll try to do anything they can do. 
Not because they don't like you, but simply because the fact that they, that you got a vision and you got a purpose and you're going somewhere. So what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to slow down your progress. OK, they want to slow down that productive spirit that's inside of you. Fell them to realize they don't realize who this spirit is inside of you. It's much more bigger than what they can ever imagine, to, than what any man can phantom. The force that's inside of you that gives you the intelligence, that gives you the knowledge, that gives you the ambition, that woke you up this morning. The force inside of you controls the whole body. OK, last time I checked, you wasn't controlling your body. You were just putting things in it. All right. You know, you're just putting things in it and then you make your arm move with your brain like, oh, it moved. Then you make your left arm move again. You be like, oh, it moved again. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all seen that? Y'all seen that? Yeah. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I made that happy. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to suffer, all right? They're going to suffer because they're going against the child of God. They're going against the desire that was put in your heart. Folks, everybody that come, across your, come into your life is meant to come into your life for some special reason. But like I said, some people just, some people just start reneging. They start reneging because they see that you you got a great future. They see something in you that you probably don't see in yourself. And then that's when they start treating you dirty. That's when they start telling you, ah, you, yeah, you, you got to go last. Uh-uh. We, we ain't taking no more people. We ain't taking no more people. Why? You took her and it said closed on the register? Nah, we just not taking no more people. Either you go to the next register or you can leave. Then they get smart with you and everything. That's why people acting like that. But I can guarantee you this. There's nothing that you have to worry about because behind the curtains, behind the scenes, when you long gone, I guarantee you, I know it's going to happen times 10. These people will suffer. They will suffer day in, day out because it's going to constantly be on their consciousness that they are holding a grudge with you. They ain't even going to be able to wake up and have a good day because they're going to think about you because they're going to go straight to your page and try to see what you're doing and try to see if you're failing to try to see if something ain't going right in your life. They are praying on your downfall because they got to constantly wake up and, and live in regret and live in anguish and suffer because they acknowledge they don't want to acknowledge the child of the universe. They will be punished day in, day out. They will suffer. They will never get the blessings that they want. The doors will always be locked that they want to open. You know why? All because they did you wrong. All because they ignoring you. All because they won't give you your credit. They will continue to suffer. And they're going to they gonna be your footstool the whole time. They're going to be your footstool the whole time. They gonna, I'm telling you, this is, this is why God said in the Bible, I will make your enemies your footstool. This is what he was talking about. That means that, folks, for the rest of the days of your life, everybody that ever came across your path, that never saw the best in you, folks, they, they gonna see you rise to the top, period. They know you gonna rise to the top, but they trying to fool themselves and think that you not. Fellas, all the girls that did you wrong, if you want, if you, you know you was gonna marry her. You know you know you was gonna have a baby by her. You was already planted in your mind. Bro, if she do the next right thing, bro, if, 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 if this next meal be good, I'm gonna marry her tonight. If she make the mashed potatoes and put that butter on there with that broccoli and and I'm baking bits. I'm marrying him tonight, bro. But if she make them chicken wings again good like that, she put she put feather on the wings and somehow the feather melted and turned into butter. Boy, them damn wings were so good. I was about to slap her ass. I was about to slap her. If she do that shit again tonight, I'm marrying a big dog. I'm marrying a big dog. What's the score in the game? What's the score in the game? You know what I'm saying? You know you was going to marry. You know you was going to. But guess what she did? She did you wrong. Okay? She did you dirty. All right? She didn't see the best in you. And guess what? I can guarantee you, she's still following you to this very day. Mark my words. She's following you to this very day. Trust me. Good women know when they lost a good man. They know it. They know it. Ladies, y'all know when y'all lost a good man. Because they eat you up on the inside. 
It eats you up. And you know you're never going to ever miss another good man ever again. You waiting on the next one to come. But don't you see how long the process is for that good shit to come back around again? It don't come too often. Trust me, I'm a believer. I'm a believer in knowing that great chances and opportunities do not come often. They come like every few years. It's a lot of opportunities that I used to have back in the day when I was young and not mature and dumb and doing stupid stuff. I didn't even know those were opportunities of a lifetime till now. And I'm like, yo, man, only if I would have seized the moment, man. Only if I would have took advantage of that opportunity and I just would have did this and I would have did that. I would have, I would not be here today. And that's what people are living in right now that did you wrong, man. People came into your life, you know, they you wanted an opportunity. You're trying to get a break with your music or whatever. They, they know they can get you a break. They know they can connect you with such and such. They know they can do certain things for you. But see, they seen your potential was great. They seen that your music was going to hit the whole world in a way that the world ain't never even hit before. You know what I'm saying? They can see that you have your own style, your own sound and everything. And instead of listening to your music for what it was and for like giving you your credit, your credit and your props. Instead, they said, nah, because it's about me. Got into their feelings and shit. That's what people be doing, dog. They be getting into their feelings of shit about who you are. Mind your damn business and do your own thing. If you do your thing, you don't have to worry about me doing my thing because you'll be doing your thing too, dunny. And I'm going to tell you, folks, these people will continue to suffer and God is going to continue to elevate you and elevate you and bring you up and bring you up and put a robe on you and put a crown on you and set you in a throne and put you some new shoes on. You will get some red bottoms. You gonna have some leather leggings. Oh, talk to me now. Talk to me. Tell me about it now. Tell me about it. I know you got some new stuff. You gonna get blessing not the blessing not the blessing. You gonna get new phones when new phones come out. Every time Apple come out with a 14, 15, 16, you gonna have a 17, 18, 19. They gonna still be on two and three. They gonna be like, they gonna be like, I gotta give me some insurance. I gotta give me some insurance. You gonna be like, insurance. I paid that shit for cash. Cash, huh? I pay that car for cash payment, car payment. Uh, I pay cash. Folks, I know people out here that I, one of my homeboys who I was talking to yesterday, he was like, yo, big brother Tran, man, I went and tried to uh, get this house, man. And, uh, you know, I tried to get this house, man. And uh, that was the house I really wanted, bro. And it's funny because, man, you know, somebody somebody just came and took it right out from up under me, man. And I couldn't do nothing because they had straight cash, man. They just took the house I love and just paid for cash. I'm, he was like, I didn't know people could do that, man. I'm like, man, yeah. They got the cash. They can do that. He was like, and there was a lot of money, man. No, there was a lot of money for you, Pedro. There was a lot of money for you, Pedro. There wasn't a lot of money for them. Okay? That's what you're going to be. You're going to be being able to buy things for cash. People gonna still be paying payments. You gonna be buying shit for cash. Like payments, rent. I already paid that off. Huh? And that's what I'm saying, folks. See, people don't know what they got until it's gone. Folks, you can bless people and they still won't give you credit, man. You can you can give people the shirt off your back and they still will say you didn't give them the shirt. They'll say somebody else did, man. You can be the most hottest person in your family. You can be the most gifted, most talented person in your family. And they still will go and praise somebody else. Okay? This is just, that's just how it is, man. That's just how it is. It's, it's ignorance at its finest, okay? And they don't understand why they still stuck, okay? Because when, the when God put the chosen one around them, they don't even know who it is. They don't even have a clue of who it is, okay? Only thing they start doing is getting into their feelings and their pride and their ego and start feeling like you think that you better than them. You ain't trying to act like you better than them. The only thing you trying to do is just show them something new that they never seen before. But they're like, uh, -uh we don't like that. We don't like that. You don't like a better life? How do you not like a, live a, a little better life? You want to stay here in, in Kansas? Oh, I don't want to stay in Kansas. Shit. I'm following the all bit road. Shit. Oh. You ain't got no heart. You ain't got no courage. And baby, you don't got no brain. Uh-uh, I can't even deal with you. You ain't got no brain, baby. And you look like a scarecrow. Oh, oh no. <laughs> they will continue to suffer, folks. They will continue to suffer. And like I said, folks, it's going to always make you feel like you're doing something wrong. Like, you're going to always feel like 
you gonna always feel like, man, that's my fault. Man, I shouldn't have did him like that. Man, I shouldn't have did him like that, man. Like, ah, damn, I cut I cut him off. Like, I mean, I shouldn't have never did that. that. No, nah, you did the right thing. Because you already know they weren't going to follow suit. You already know they weren't going to... They wasn't going, they wasn't going to um, level up. They wasn't going to get better. You know what I mean? So you like, you know, I'm not about to waste my time anymore. You don't been through that so many times that you're not about to waste a dime anymore. You don't been through that part so many times that you already can recognize it when it comes. And so you like, nah, man, I ain't even about to get myself involved with that, man. I'm not even about to text her back. Okay. You know what I mean? She playing games already. As soon as you start getting to know it, she already playing games and she think you don't see it. She think you slow or something. But your eyes is open. All 10, 15 eyes is open. You can see straight through her dumb shit. And that's the that's the thing these Decepticons don't know. You know why? Like I said, because they, they, they sleep, folks. They slow. They dumb down. They program. They sleep. You ever been on the highway? You ever been on the highway and you driving, you know what I'm saying, Uber, Lyft or something like that, or your own car, and... You on this side of the road and the car's coming on this side of the road and there's a big ass barrier in between both sides, right? And then it's a, it's like a police coming down the other side of the road with the sound rings on. And then even though you on this side and all the cars coming down this side, the police coming down this side, cars over here still stop and slow down like. You're like, go, go, go. Why are they stopping in the middle of the road when the police is going that way on that side? Because people are programmed, folks. Most people are programmed. They don't even know what really going, what's going on. You feel me? They are always worried about somebody else's life trying to get ahead. Okay? So that's what I'm telling you, man. People will continue to be punished. They will continue to go through hard times. They will continue to go through hardships. If they keep doing the chosen one wrong, they will never get what they desire in life. Because I'm telling you, God is working through you, okay? And when God brings you around certain people, that good energy, that, that good spirit that you have, folks, if people choose and fail to, to recognize it and to, and to follow suit and to, and, to, and to treat you like you're supposed to be treated, they're going to go off onto the deep end. I'm sorry to say that. And it might be some of your relatives. I'm sorry. It'll be your relatives then. They're going to go off on the deep end. They're going to have to struggle. It might be your ex-husband. Okay? If he didn't realize that she was a great woman and he still want to go out here and be a little boy and he want to play in the streets and play in the sheets and stuff like that, he going to realize the hard way. He going to be hitting you up later like, I'm, I'm good now, baby. Hey, baby, what's going on? Have you, do you miss me? No, I don't miss you, Roderick. I don't miss you and I don't want you and I don't want nothing from you. They're going to be living in regret because they miss what they used to have. It always happens this way. You ever had somebody hit you back up after a long time ago and be like, how you doing? None of your business. None of your business. None of your business. I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't like you. I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. Stop bugging me. You know why you bugging me? Because you have no life. That's why you bugging me. Because you see my life is entertaining and your life is boring as fuck. Okay, and you ain't doing nothing. But when you was with me, though, I, I gave you this. I let you have a chance of opportunity to that. I gave you good cooking, cooking, nookie, nookie at night, at night time. You didn't, you didn't appreciate that. I bought you some clothes. I bought you the good dinner. You ain't never been to a five star restaurant, and I took you to a five star Michelin star boo. I took you to a five star Michelin boo. You had four five drinks, rosé, dirty martinis, Long Island, Manhattan. Tennessee, Montana's, North Nebraska's, and you gonna do me wrong? You know what? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want you no more. I don't, I don't want you no more. That that bitch me. Leave me alone. I can't even talk to the hands. They don't understand. Nigga be mad, boy. Be mad when she coming back after you. Boy. You better go get that. You better go get that whip or snapper. It's your big bro, Trin G, man. I told you, if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I got something very special for you, man. Listen, we trying to reach 200,000 subscribers, man. 200,000. We close. We close. Hey, look, if you really enjoy my content, man, I know you do. All right? Don't act like you don't. All right? And I know some of y'all ain't never done nothing for big bro, but comment it and like it and laugh. Yeah, Trin, my nigga right there. That's all y'all did. But you know what you could do for me today? Since you ain't never really done a whole lot, just do me a simple favor. Share my videos to 10 people in your contact list. I don't care if they Decepticons or not. 
If they ain't never reached out to you, listen, if they respond back to the, to the video or whatever, don't even respond back. Just send this video or any one of my videos that you like. Just do this. Do this today. And the universe will come, give it back to you. Give my, give my, give 10 of my videos to 10 people in your phone. Just do that. 10, 10 rule. Okay. Can you do that? Comment below right now if you're going to do that and say, Trent, I'm going to share your people. I'm going to share the, your video to 10 people today. Just comment below. I want to see from a show of hands. And I'm going to comment on your comment if I see that you're doing that. All right. Just comment below and say, big bro, I'm going to share your videos to 10 people today. All right. I don't give a damn if you got to go outside and walk to the, go outside somewhere and be like, hey, look, listen, listen to big bro train. All right, bye. Don't, don't talk to me about it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Share my video to 10 people today, folks. Let's get to 200,000 subscribers. With that being said, man, remember, if they do you wrong, don't react negative. Don't argue. Don't fight. Look, just walk away because you already know who's on your side. The universe is on your side. Just walk away. Smile. Don't let them ruin your day. If they want to ignore your damn messages or whatever, fine. I like that. I like that. I like that. Because they're going to be watching you anyway. Hating. Mad. Jealous. Oh. Oh, where they do that at? I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.